Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on May 20th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, and everything else affecting humanity. Starting out here, looking at the sun at 304 angstroms. Still, we only have that one lonely sunspot and now coronal hole, which is leaving. So not much to talk about except for another sunspot just getting ready to crest over there. You can see a small light up looking at outgoing images here. Small CME detected on the right side there, outgoing. And here's that sunspot yet again, just an amazing display here. And we are expecting that energy right after the coronal hole wind stream, which we are in right now. So we have an elevated solar wind speed and pressure as we speak. Looking at multi-spectrum there and looking at the departing coronal hole and deepening coronal hole in the northern region, right beside that plasma filament. Outgoing CME there. And then plasma filament, coronal hole, sunspot, and then another sunspot coming around. Looking here at Iswa, you can see 26th, we will be expecting all of this space weather. And we're looking at a real time solar wind right now and we are sitting at 546 kilometers per second. We peaked to up to about 558 kilometers per second. And so this is the coronal hole wind stream, which we were expecting. Just looking at our magnetosphere cut planes Real-time solar wind there, speeds, pressure here, and the density. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 28. A healthy little charge, I would say. So an amplitude of 28 and a quality of 12.7. Frequency max 7.6. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours. And we'll start out most, well, with the most notable here, a 4.5 Labrador Sea just off the coast of Newfoundland. That's right, another Canadian earthquake to report. And not only that, but another earthquake to report in Calgary, but this time in southeast Calgary in the neighborhoods of Copperfield and New Brighton. Now this was an unspecified and unconfirmed report, but it was here, it was a 2.2. Uh, so that's the second one this week that came up in Calgary and then disappeared on Volcano Discovery. And just looking at the most recent confirmed reported earthquakes in the foothills, Canmore and as well Elkford. So a lot of earthquakes recently that have been popping up Recently, Northwest Calgary, now Southeast Calgary. And Volcano Discovery apparently doesn't do Eastern Canada. Nothing here to report through Volcano Discovery. But Earthquakes Canada always does report all of the earthquakes across the nation. 2.2 earthquake being reported there in Moncton, New Brunswick as well. And the minor earthquakes continue through the border with Montreal and Quebec. 4.0 ringing off here. Mina, Nevada, back to the United States. Toronto, California with a 3.6. And as well, Stanley, Idaho, 2.6. 2.9, 2.5 there to report. White City, New Mexico, 
4.3 here in Mexico. Not big enough for a central release, but a lot of activity around Santa Cruz Islands, Virgin Islands, and as well Puerto Rico. Cruz Bay, 3.6, 3.3 there in Dominican Republic. A lot of activity through that central region, but not big enough. I'm waiting for a big one through that region. 5.2 here to report. Calima, Chile, as well a 4.0 and a 4.5 at a 225 kilometer depth. So a lot of deep earthquakes today as well. Continuing the last couple days. 5.0 there, East Chile rise. Hawaii, largest report today, 2.7. And then through the Tonga region and Fiji, 5.0 to report there, Tonga, 4.9 as well, and a 4.2 in the Fiji region, 300 to 373 kilometer depth, Solomon Islands, 4.8, 91 kilometer depth, Papua New Guinea, Kokopo, 4.9, 4.8, through Indonesia, right by Luwatolo volcano, Timor Leste. 168 kilometer depth and then a big deep 4.5 553 kilometer depth right beside it moving northward into the Philippines 4.4 104 kilometer depth and a 4.6 Santa Monica Philippines quiet through Japan oh boy 4.5 there Kuril Islands and Alaska Showing some still minor seismicity through the region. As well, the largest earthquake today to report, 5.7 Corset Islands region, just south of Madagascar, middle of the Indian Ocean. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Pretty notable there, 4.5 Labrador and the increasing Canadian earthquakes. Let's have a look at the last seven days across the planet. You can see there are a lot of elevated rings, and when we get those elevated rings, we can expect larger and shallower earthquakes to follow, which are the more dangerous. Looking across the land right now, a lot of activity. South America moving northward. It seems to be consistent with fours and fives. No major movement through the central region nor North America. So heads up everybody, friends and family around the world, prayers for humanity. Having a look at the southern hemisphere as well, Antarctic plate movement all around the plate. And let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here, most recent volcanoes to update, Sabancaya in Peru, Popo in Mexico, Semeru in Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, La Soufriere in St. Vincent. Uh, let's see here, Nevados de Chilean, and Ebico. So that's only about 11 volcanoes being updated today. A lot of deep earthquakes taking over the movement today, and as well, a lot of flood alerts taking over this map today on the disaster alert, especially through Texas. Thoughts and prayers. A lot of friends popping in the live stream saying their backyards are flooding. It's like a waterbed. And so thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these floods, winter storms, upper Midwest, central plains. Very interesting weather across the board, across the world. And now we have our first uh, Atlantic area of interest. It's not even a tropical storm yet, but 90L area of interest is alive. And the next one most likely will be the one in the Gulf, 91L overlooking Meteo Earth, five day forecast brought to you by Morning Dew. And of course, Meteo Earth, we're going to start out here, Calgary, Alberta. Watch as this big low heads into Alberta and the Canadian Plains, we're going to see some wild weather coming up this week through Canada as that big low comes out of the, the states. 
big high pressure ridge blocking the low pressure system coming out of the gulf and it, it i mean it right now it looks like something could form but i really don't think it is going to most likely will be blown away by the high pressure ridges but big system here developing in the upper midwest of the united states is going to bring a big low pressure system to alberta saskatchewan and manitoba and then eastward as there's a big high pressure ridge coming from the north blocking that as well so we've got these real intense cold high pressure ridge ridges hanging out not really letting too many storms form just yet and overlooking the atlantic ocean watch as 90l joins forces here with the low pressure systems coming off of north america high pressure ridge on either side but it will join forces with the two lows and then head straight into greenland for the long range forecast and they could see some really wild weather there really tight isobars strong winds still a dominant high pressure ridge in the atlantic as well overlooking europe I think the final rain train low pressure system is going to come through here by Tuesday for the United Kingdom and Ireland. And then you're going to see some really warm weather after that big high pressure ridges moving in. And of course, warm temperatures across the Indies and into Arabia, Africa, extreme heat conditions through Western Pakistan up into Afghanistan and northern China and Russia. Northern China border with Russia. As well, we have a tropical cyclone here developing in the Bay of Bengal. Long a range forecast. By Tuesday, it will be a most likely a category two cyclone. But it could ramp up. I mean, we, we are being hit by 550 kilometer per second solar winds. We could have a category five cyclone there tomorrow. Overlooking the West Pacific, long line of moisture here coming out of Asia, Southeast Asia. And as well, uh, daily evaporation rains continue through Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Sumatra. And could see some really heavy rains here through Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands this week. Cool, dry Australia, except for southeastern parts, which I've been forecasting. And it looks like it's going to hit... Tasmania as well, the low pressure system in the long range. Low pressure system here heading towards New Auckland, New Zealand. Looks like it's kind of going to stall there as well. Kind of like what the system was doing in the Gulf. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, big high pressure ridge. But it looks like it's going to let a little system move into Hawaiian Islands could see some moisture relief here in the long range and then yeah not much to talk about along the coast but upper midwest big system developing there overlooking south america no major weather systems except for the one forecasted yesterday could see some storms border with brazil and then a big low pressure system here heading off of south america no major weather systems to talk about across africa gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern watching these systems ramp up and get bigger and bigger much love to y'all and thank you so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please smash that like button share with your friends and family from around the world Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Stay safe, everybody. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the